Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 4 of Satisfactory. I'm your host as always, Sam Ozzy, and in today's episode we're going to be tackling the power problems because I am sick and tired of feeling these biomass burners with fuel. Tedious, not automatic whatsoever. Let's fix that, shall we? Sounds like a plan. The way we're going to fix that is with this beautiful thing that we've got right here. Coal. Nice, clean, renewable energy. Okay, right, maybe not. Let's let's say it's not so renewable, but that's not the point. We're going to be setting up coal in today's episode. So we're going to be heading off, finding a coal vein, and, um, yeah, producing our power plant over there. But before we get into that, what we are going to... Oh, no. Okay. Other than getting stuck on a pole. Oh, my goodness. Terrible with these ladders. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. What we're going to do before we go anywhere is research coal power. Because there's no point going out and finding coal if we can't even look for it. Um, right, tier 3 coal power. What do we need? 25 rotors, 25 reinforced plate, a little bit of wire, a little bit of cable. We can do that. That's easy. I'm going to go collect the materials and I will be right back. Hey guys, I've gone through and collected all of the resources required for our a little upgrade to coal power. As you can see, Jamal's here, faithfully waiting for me. You can take this coal, I don't want it. Right. Uh, 25 of those, I made too many of these, too many of those, a heap of these, and both of those. There we go. Coal power away! Righto, see you later ma'am. Milestone Off she goes. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. Yes. An increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended. Oh, absolutely. Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated. See, the thing they don't tell you about the biomass is that it may very well be 125% more efficient or whatever, but it's automatic. You don't need to keep filling it with trees, which is a pain in the backside. Well, I guess without further ado, let's find out where this uh, this coal is, shall we? That's not coal. That's coal. You coming, Jamal, are you? 900 meters that way. Do we have any other coal? 1,400 meters. Okay, looks like we're going the 900 meter route. And... As I said before, I think we're going to use the sugar cube to get out there. The sugar cube being the little tractor thing. What does it take to build one of those bad boys? Let's have a look. And how's my fuel going? Yeah, it'll hold. Uh, if I remember correctly, we're going to need... Well, we're definitely going to need some of these, but we can make those over there. I've got a Xeno Zappa. I think you need five beacons for the truck. If I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look. Wait, no. How do I build the truck? Oh no! Vehicles. Tractor. Two of those, five of those. We can do that. That's easy. Right. Five of those. And two of those. I'm pretty sure we need a ton of these for the actual power plants though. But um, what we'll do is we'll go for an exploration, go over there, find the coal, make it safe, and then I'll come back, get the resources, and we'll go back out there again. Pretty sure it was in this direction, though. Oh, and we're going to need fuel for the sugar cube, of course. Uh, for all of you that aren't aware, the reason I'm calling it a sugar cube is, well, A, it looks like a sugar cube, and um, B, that's the, I guess, beloved name that the developers have assigned to this vehicle. They decided that, you know, it deserved the name sugar cube, so who am I to disagree? Without further ado, let's go find some coal. Actually... Let's make sure that this is the right direction first. It was 900 meters this way, I think. Uh, 700 meters? Yeah, happy with that. 
Oh yeah, let's roll. Autobots, roll out. Oh, a little bit. A little bit skippy on the frames. Yo. Oh, that's a bad dude. I want a power slug. It's a really bad dude. I don't want to deal with him. Did we go this way? Oh, is that a spider? Oh, man. There is so much badness. Oh, is that Jamal? Oh, sorry, Jamal. Well, he just got freaking flayed, didn't he? Yow. Oh. Man. Game does not like loading. All right. There's a couple of these guys. Ha <laughs> Woo! Strike. What's up here? Oh, no way. That was easy. The first stop, and we found Carl. Well, let's hop out of the sugar cube. And we're taking those... fuels back. Oh, uh oh, oh. Oh no, here we go. Probably should have bought my health. Uh, so for these guys, they're actually pretty easy to beat, as you can see. So the first attack they do is a long range attack. And then if you get right up in their face, they actually do like a short wave blast. And um, I found that's the easiest way. You just let them go for the blast and then step back. Sort of almost stun locks them. These guys are a pain in the butt. Right, where are you guys going? You coming up? You're both going to sit down there, aren't you? Fantastic. Right, oh, well, just, here we go. What the heck are these birds doing? Oh, man. What are you doing up there, man? Come on. Oh. Got him. Sweet. Well... We found the coal. I wonder what these are. Hopefully they're pure. Please be pure. Yes. Even better. Sweet. That's two pure nodes. Let's see if there's any other coal around here. Well, two more over here. What have we got over here? Please be pure. Ugh, it's just normal. That's alright. Two pure is still pretty good. What's over here? Well, apart from this dude. Ready? So here's what I was talking about. You sidestep that move. And you hit him. And just... Oh my goodness. Wow. Spider wasn't happy with the fact that I was just dominating that guy. Right. Oh, pure coal. Sweet. So that's what, three pure coals? All right next to each other? I guess out of curiosity, do we have any iron around here because we're going to need to produce steel and if there's iron here right there really and there awesome oh get out of here friggin spiders oh, I guess they're supposed to be spiders they look more like termites to me to be honest like a weird cross between a termite and an ant uh, also <laughs> for all of you watching at home check this out uh, settings. And is it gameplay? Arachnophobia mode. This is pretty cool. <laughs> it turns all the spiders into just random cat pictures. And on that note, I'll be back once we've um, collected some resources and started the production over here. And then we'll also have a quick clip of me fighting my way back to the base or from the base over to here. Just to, I guess, um... Is that a spider coming for me? Oh god, here comes the cat. I'm trying to inform the audience. Get out of here! Is it dead? Yeah, I think so. Right, okay. Um, as I said, I'll make a, a cut here and I'll be back with you once I've got the resources required to build a power plant over here. Cool. Hey guys, it's been a little bit since my last cut. Um... What I've done is I've built this giant foundation up here near the coal and I've laid out six uh, coal power generators. Uh, the reason that I've laid these out off camera is because I wanted to get them all perfectly centered and it's very tedious to watch so 
having, having said that, if you want to watch it, come check me out on stream. Um, so I've just set all these up. And what I'm going to do now is probably produce them out as far as I can and then feed them with this deposit right here. So without further ado, let's get into it. What do we got? Coal generator. Actually, what I'll do is I'll go my logistics splitter. Uh, is that too close? No, that looks pretty good to me. And then see how far I can build the power across from that. That looks even Stevens. Sweet. How good is this? This has worked flawlessly. That little bit of extra effort you put in before you start makes the world a difference. Oh man, we don't have anywhere near enough rotors. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so we're going to need more rotors and more modular frames. Man, these are expensive. Okay. Um, going to need at least... One, two, three, there's another three. How much power does one of these put out? Uh, cool? Doesn't tell me. 50 megawatts. So what, six? What do you got? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Hmm. 600 megawatts? That, I should have thought about that. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to make 600 megawatts. I'm going to make a quick jump cut, go grab the materials I need, and then plonk the last three of these down on camera. I'll be back in a sec. Hey guys, I'm back, and um, as I'm sure that you can see, I've uh, got a little bit carried away with the, the coal production. So we've currently got, what, 6, 12, 24 coal generators. I don't think we're going to use 24 coal generators for a very long time, but they're there. They're ready to go when we eventually need them, if we ever need them. Um, so you can see the sugar cube. It, well, I don't know if you can. Sugar cube's down here somewhere, the little, little car. I don't know, I've lost it. But another interesting discovery, other than the fact that all of this coal here, there is a pure limestone down here, which is always handy, as well as a mercosphere. And, that's not the good bit. The good bit, we have a caterum node, or a caterium, or however you pronounce it, right here. Which means that we can finally start producing some uh, caterum goods. So what we'll need to do is take this back, put it in the, the MAM for some research, which I'll get to in a second. And then we'll be able to get the uh, quick sprint legs, which are amazing. Um, it doubles your movement speed, doubles your jump height, and just makes the game so much more pleasant to play. But nevertheless, as you can see, fantastic progress being made. I'll, um, I'll probably go back, do the caterham research, unlock tiers. Um, no, not unlock tiers, sorry. Uh, do the steel production, and then come back and produce some foundries here but other than that I think that'll be the majority of this episode put together unless I go through and decide to put more in so I'll leave you here and I'll either be back with the outro or I'll be back with some uh, some more fantastic progress being made see you in a bit might call the episode here in all honesty as you can see we've made a heap of progress gone through and created more power than any man really needs at the start of a playthrough. And I've cleared out all of the aliens all the way through back to the Iron Hub. So we'll be able to lay the power line in between episodes. And in the next episode, I think the focus is going to be on our iron production. Uh, sorry, my uh, steel production over there. So we'll get the iron in from up the back there. I'll show you now. That one's got a rock on it, but those two at the back there are both pure iron nodes, so we'll ship those in and we'll use two of these pure coal nodes and we'll produce our steel here, and that way we'll have another another part of our meiosis series over here with the 
basically the coal refinement plant. But anyway, I've been your host, Samozzi, as always. Have a good day. Bye.